Welcome to my channel Wet Visit. Here we are going to study veterinary science for the competitive examination preparation. So friends, today's topic is poultry. In this, we are going to study about uh, poultry female reproductive system, its male reproductive system, its vices, and about egg. This video is prepared by Dr. Hemant and Dr. Dilip Kumar. So female reproductive system. Birds are the unique among the animals as they reproduce through an egg. There are the two parts in the female reproductive system. First is ovary and second is oviduct. At the time of uh, early embryonic development, two ovaries and two oviducts are present. But left ovary and ovary and oviducts develop and functional in all the species of bird. But there is one genital defect in which both the left and right ovaries are developed and only the left oviducts has been developed. The first is ovary. The mature ovary consists of mature ovary consists of numerous developing follicles appear like a cluster of grapes. On the distal surface of the mature follicles have an elongated area which is a free of blood vessels and called as stigma. So friends you can see in this diagram there is an uh, elongated area there is no blood vessel and this area is known as stigma. Location of the ovaries dorsal part of the abdominal cavity and fore end of the kidney. In this diagram you can see about stigma. Next part is oviduct. The oviduct is a long zigzag tube about 25 to 27 inches long consisting of a glandular and muscular parts. The oviduct extends from the ovary to the cloaca. There are the five distinct parts in the oviduct. First is infundibulum which is about 9 cm. Second is magnum which is about 33 cm and third is isthmus which is about 10 cm. Fourth is uterus which is about 10 to 12 cm which is also called as shell gland and fifth is vagina which is about 12 cm. As you can see in the diagram the first is ovary then after this infundibulum then there is magnum then isthmus then uh, shell, uh, shell gland or uterus and then vagina and then vent and this is egg. Infundibulum. Infundibulum its length is about 9 cm uh, time spent by egg there is 18 minute and function of the infundibulum are it engulfs the yolk it is a reservoir of the spermatozoa and its help in the fertilization it is the part where the fertilization take place. Second part is magnum which is about 33 cm it is the largest portion of the female reproductive oviduct. Uh, it, it the egg is spent about 2 hour to 54 minutes in this part uh, their function in the magnum is thick albumin formation thick white and albumin is added in this part about 40 percent of albumin is added the third part is isthmus isthmus which is about length of 10 centimeter and egg is spent about 1 hour to 15 minutes in this part and its function is secrete a shell membrane fourth part is uterus or shell gland which is about 10 to 12 centimeter and its uh, egg spend about 12 hours to 40 minutes in this part and it secrete uh, calcium carbonate over the egg and pigments deposition like porphyrin which gives a brown color to the egg and fifth part is vagina which is about 12 centimeter and the function is egg you uh, hold the egg until it is laid the total length of the female reproductive is oviduct is about 74 centimeter and time taken for the egg production is 25 to 26 hours. Some important points related to the oviposition. The act of process of laying and uh, by uh, egg laying process is known in body is known as oviposition. The time taken is about 24 to 26 hour and ovulation occur. Ovulation occur normally about uh, 14 to 75 minutes after the ovipositions. In poultry, the fertilization takes place in the infundibulum. The shape of egg is determined in the isthmus. The uterus is also called as shell gland. Hormone responsible for the oviposition is arginine or vasotocin. Yellow color of the egg yolk is due to carotene pigments and green color in, in the egg white uh, is due to albumin and riboflavin and Germinal sac of the fertile egg is called as blastoderm. Germinal disc of the fertile egg is called as blastodisc. The inner surface of the magnum is lined by with a goblet cells which secrete an albumin which is a thick white and thick white percentage tends to decreases from the about April to July in most of the flock. So it's the first part is uh, ovary then there you can see their mature 
ovum which is ready to ovulate these are there then next part is infantibulum which is a site of fertilization in the female reproductive system then the third part is magnum where the first layer of albumin has been added then the third is isthmus where the inner membrane and outer membranes and albumin are added to the egg and the third fourth part is uterus where or the shell glands where the albumin shell pigments are been added then there are the papillae you can see there then the next is utero vaginal junction where the location of sperm storage tubule then the, there is a vagina then cloaca the large intestine you can see the rudimentary of the uh, rudiment of the right oviduct male reproductive system male reproductive structure is includes uh, first part is testes second is vas deferens third is cloaca and fourth is rudimentary copulatory organs location of the male reproductive uh, organs are dorsal body walls on the either side of the vertebral column and anterior to the kidney puberty in uh, puberty in the cockerel is immature is defined as the age when the spermatozoa first appear in the in ejaculate semen the number of the fully formed sperms released from the seminiferous uh, epithelium into the lumen is known as spermiation the ph of the uh, semen is about 7.45 to 7.63 on the medium ventral portion of the cloaca is a small button like structure which are known as copulatory papillae and which is a rudimentary copulatory organ here you can see this is a testis vas deferens is there copulatory organ you can see there and then the next is cloaca common vices common vices of the poultry and their preventions so there are many vices which uh, are the bad habits of about poultry and first is cannibalism second is egg eating third is egg hiding and fourth is pica uh, cannibalism is a bird of a flock attack their pen mate and eat its flesh which may be impose a deep wound and heavy mortality reason behind the cannibalism is overcrowding in the poultry houses genetic predisposition hemorrhages and protein deficiency deficiency of mainly arginine and methionines are supposed to be more responsible for the cannibalism for development of the cannibalistic activity preventions like the debicking is a prevention for the cannibalism then next is pica the birds start eating materials which are not fit for their consumption such as feather litter materials threads etc the reason behind the pica is phosphorus deficiency parasitic infestation new litter materials may predispose the birds to pica the preventions of uh, of the pica are good management ment care and balanced diets are recommended for the prevention of pica so uh, we are going to study then next about egg egg they are the four major structure which are uh, present in the egg first is shell then shell membrane albumin and yolk first we are from we are starting from outside the outer membrane is is membrane there are the three membranes inner shell membrane outer shell membrane and air cells are present on the outside then we are going inside about yolk yolk is having a, a white line membrane that you can see there then the dark yolk layer light yolk layer latibra and germinal disc which is called as blastoderm in the membrane they are having a, a more three layers just like mammary layer spongy calcareous layer and cuticle uh, albumin albumin is containing about there is a one portion called as chalaza then uh, chalazi ferrous you can see there uh, next is inner thin firm or thick and outer thin then egg shell egg shell is uh, outer portion is called as cuticle and spongy or calcareous layer is present mammary la mammillary layer or matrix and pores microscopic pores are about 8000 to 10000 per egg distributed unevenly over the shell surface and more at the broad end and then the narrow end exchange of volatile compounds between the shell membrane and the cuticle and it is made up of calcium carbonate next is shell membrane there are uh, they having a air cell outer shell membrane inner shell membrane air cell is situated in between the two membranes and a broad end air cells formed as a result of contraction of egg contain some 
content soon after ov positions due to differences in the temperature exposed or to by the egg prior to and after the ov positions the outer shell membrane is attached to the shell and the inner shell membrane is closely surrounded by the albumin albumin consisting of the four layer first is chalaziferous or inner thick layer which is about 3% inner thin albumin which is about 17% outer thick form or dense albumin which is about 57% and outer thin albumin which is about of 23% of the total albumin the chalazi for uh, ferrous layer is very close to the yolk and immediately surrounding the white line membranes of the yolk this layer twists into a two coats on the either side of the yolk and called as chalaza which are formed due to the rotational movement of the egg and the in the oviduct function of the chalaza chalaza is a holds the egg uh, uh, holds the yolk central positions and the serve as a anchor for the yolk chalaza contains a protein called as lysozyme which is possessing a antimicrobial properties and which helps to prevent the microbial spoilage of the egg this is very important what lysozyme which is a antimicrobial property in the egg aging improves the storage and microbial spoilage makes the thick albumin watery next part is yolk latebra is the center of the yolk which is a small nearly circular core of the light colored fluid which does not completely harden on boiling nucleus of the pander is a cup shaped structure which is as a extension of neck of the latebra and connecting the base of the germinal disc germinal disc is located on the surface of yolk from here the embryo formation begin then it is very important from where the embryo formation is begin the from the germinal disc and white line membrane is a semi permeable elastic membrane surrounding the yolk and separating the yolk material from the albumin next is clutches the birds lay eggs in clutches eggs laid on a successively days are called as clutch and the clutch size of an individual is characterized Characteristics and may be vary from up to two to thousand eggs per day. However, the normal clutches size is from the three to eight eggs, and the large the larger the clutches, the good the layer. A small clutches size indicates an inferior layer. Ovulation usually occur in the morning and almost near the three p.m. three a.m. three p.m. Ovulation uh, ovulation of the yolk on the next edge egg is in a clutch occur within an hour of laying the previous egg so that each day the hen gets later the later is her timing since the hens do not do not auto typically ovulate after 3 pm the next ovulation is delayed until at least the next day and the egg laying is interrupted this delay result in the break between the clutches and the cycle repeats itself a day or so later standards of a chicken egg its weight is about 58 g its energy is about 90 calories egg contains about 74% of water 26% of dry matter in dry matter there are 30% of protein 11% is fat and 1% carbohydrate and 1% ash biological value is about 100% whole chicken egg is a shell and shell membrane which is about 11% albumin is about 58% and yolk is 31% egg shell made up of about 96% of organic matter and 4% of the organic matter cholesterol contained in egg is about 250 mg vitamin c absent in the milk meat and egg egg producing carries of a laying hen economic egg production cycle is 22 weeks to 72 weeks or 5.5 month to 18 month egg production start at 22 weeks of the age and peak of the egg production is at 32 to 35 weeks of the age and the egg production declines at the half of the per week egg production cycle divided into three phase first phase is between the 22 weeks to 40 weeks of the age the egg production reaches zero to peak and approximately 85% of the production size of egg is gradually increases in 36% gram 36 gram at the 26 22 weeks of the age in 52 8 gram at the 42 weeks of the age phase 2 is about uh, 43 to 62 weeks of the age where the egg production declines up to 65% in the phase 3 
the period of phase is about 63 to 72 weeks and the egg production is less than 65 percent immediately after the laying egg should be stored at a temperature of 55 to uh, 50 to 55 degree fahrenheit or 10 to 12 degree celsius to prevent the loss of weight by evaporation abnormal eggs the, due to the many defects the abnormal egg production are there first is double yolk egg due to the over ripening at the same time more common in the pullets than the other birds next is meat spots or blood spots spot in the yolk hemorrhages uh, it may be due to hemorrhages in the ovary and the oviduct spot in the albumin is due to mainly due to hemorrhages in the magnum or pale yolk is maybe due to the lack of carotenes and color other coloring substances sexing of the cheek cheeks Japanese method or vent method of sexing is maybe used for the sexing of chips cheeks and uh, next is protoscope method and the uh, third is sex link characters and color of plumage feather growth etc can be used for sexing of the cheeks molting molting is an normal physiological process of shedding and renewing of the feather in the feathered species and it occur in both the sexes natural molts in a commercial layer normally occur after 8 to 12 months of the age egg productions force molting requirement under the force molting a layer flux is induced to shed and replace its feather at the time selected by the flock manager type of force molting there are the two cycles on the uh, molting programs the this program involves of one molt and the two egg production cycles the hens are molted after about 10 months of the egg productions broke back into the egg production and then sold at about of 24 months of the age multiple cycle molting program is in, in which this program involves two or more molts and three or more cycles of egg production and hens are first molted after about nine months of the productions method of force molting first is conventional force molting program second is low nutrient diet program third is molting by feeding zinc and fourth is use of drugs and other compounds thank you friends i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with your friends thank you friends